The next model that we are going to discover when it comes to organizational decision making is going to be called the incrementalist model and it is a pretty nice and straightforward concept. When selecting a set of new alternative courses, managers tend to choose those that are only slightly or incrementally different from those used in the past thus lowering their chance to make a mistake. So let's imagine some product. Let's say that uh, uh, this is going to be our product. And now this product has, let's say, uh, three, uh, some characteristics. Let me draw it a bit nicer. So this product costs, let's say, $30, $30. Uh, let's say its color is going to be green. It's going to be green and the shipping period is let's say three days this is the product we currently have but we would like to of course improve it so we are going to make a decision about how to improve this product well if we stick to the incrementalist model we should make just a slight decisions or, or some incremental uh, uh, differentiation and we should look into the past and and you know try to discover what has been successful in the past well in the past the most successful thing was when we lowered the price when we previously lowered the price by let's say three dollars we became much more successful while selling this product so we will focus on the price and we will just slightly change the price so that the chance to make a mistake is very low so our new product is going to be changed just very slightly the color is still going to be green and the shipping period is still going to be three days and we just change the price to 25 dollars and now we can continue with with the incrementalist mode and you know we can make new decisions and and, and redesign the product from scratch and you know you can imagine that uh, if we make really a lot of incremental decisions let's say we make 10 of, of such decisions such slight changes well our product can look really different so that our totally new and redesigned product may have a price of let's say $13 uh, it can have a red color and the shipping period can be let's say four days so you see even even with slight and incremental decisions after a very long time you can get uh, to a totally different uh, concept or to a totally different product so this is the incrementalist model its main purpose is to lower the chance of making a mistake because as we know we have only limited information available and we we never know what really is the best so we are trying to lower this chance of mistake by making just a slight adjustments at a time